Hi, it's Dwayne Ward, the Pissed Off Parent. Welcome to today's episode. We're going to be diving into a topic that affects millions of children across the globe, fatherlessness. The statistics are alarming, and the consequences are deep and far-reaching. This isn't just a father issue, it's a societal issue. Today, we'll look at the cold, hard facts of what fatherlessness means for children, and we'll also make a heartfelt plea to mothers. Please do not use the system to damage your children. The stats don't lie. Fatherlessness has consequences, and those consequences are playing out in real time for children who are growing up without their fathers in the picture. It's time we understand the full scope of this crisis. Let's start by looking at the hard data on fatherlessness in the United States. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, one in four children, about 18.4 million kids, are growing up in father-absent homes. That's nearly 25% of children who do not have a father actively involved in their daily lives. The numbers are even more staggering in certain communities, with minority children more likely to experience fatherlessness. But the problem is widespread across all the demographics. But the real impact comes when we dig into what these numbers really mean for children involved. Children in fatherless homes are four times more likely to live in poverty. They are seven times more likely to become pregnant as teenagers. They're more likely to struggle with mental health issues such as depression, anxiety, and behavioral problems. Fatherless children are twice as likely to commit suicide compared to those raised in intact families. Research also shows that children without fathers are more likely to engage in criminal behavior with 85% of youth in prison coming from fatherless homes. The statistical data paints a very grim picture, but there's something we need to recognize here. These aren't just numbers, these are real children real families and real futures that are being compromised by a lack of parental involvement, particularly the lack of fathers. The consequences of fatherlessness are not just economic. They are psychological and emotional. Studies consistently show that children growing up without their fathers tend to experience higher rates of mental health issues, including depression, anxiety, and low self-esteem. According to the National Institute of Mental Health, children from fatherless homes are also more likely to experience emotional instability and increased behavioral issues. A study from the University of Pennsylvania found that children without fathers are more likely to struggle with feelings of anger and resentment. And that leads to poor relationships with peers and authority figures. Additionally, fatherless boys are more likely to engage in early riskier behavior, such as substance abuse and criminal activity. They're also more likely to have difficulties in school, which directly impacts their academic success and future opportunities. Let's also talk about the impact on girls. Fatherless girls are significantly more likely to have early sexual experiences leading to teen pregnancy, and they are at a higher risk of entering abusive relationships as adults. A study from the American Psychological Association found that the absence of a father figure often leads to a lack of trust in men influencing their relationships later in life. Now here's where we need to take a hard look at how the system is sometimes being used as a tool to create division between children and their fathers. Mothers. Many mothers in difficult and emotional charged situations like divorce or separation may feel justified in cutting off or alienating fathers from their children. But here's the message. Using the system to punish a father, whether through false accusations or unnecessary restrictions and visitation, ultimately harms your children. Research consistently shows that children benefit from a he healthy relationship from both parents. Studies from the Journal of Marriage and Family have shown that children do better academically and emotionally and socially when they have access to both mom and dad. Study from the American Academy of Pediatrics concluded that father involvement is linked to improved cognitive development, higher academic achievement, and fewer behavioral issues. Furthermore, children who maintain a relationship with their fathers are more likely to develop healthier self-esteem and fewer problems with emotional regulation. So when mothers use the system to alienate fathers or restrict their access to their children, they're not just hurting the father, they're hurting their own child's emotional and psychological development. <sighs> This is a plea to all the mothers out there. Please think of the long-term impact on your children. The system should be a tool for co-parenting and ensuring a child's well-being, not for punishment or personal vendettas. When you use the legal system to cut off or limit a father's involvement, it's not just hurting the relationship between your child and their father, it's hurting your child's entire future. Consider this. Research from the National Fatherhood Initiative shows that children who maintain strong relationships with their fathers are more likely to graduate from high school, hold down steady jobs, and stay out of jail. <laughs> Father involvement in a child's life has been shown to significantly reduce the likelihood of risky behavior, which includes drug use and violent crime. You might be angry, hurt, or frustrated with the father, but your child deserves to have a relationship with their father, even if you and he don't see eye to eye. Your anger won't help your child grow into a healthy, well-adjusted adult. In fact, it'll do the opposite. The damage done by fatherlessness can last a lifetime. So what can you do as a mother to ensure your child's future isn't sabotaged by the absence of their father? One, facilitate communication. Allow your child to have a relationship with their father. Don't block visits or communication out of spite. If there are genuine concerns, ad address those through the proper channels, but don't let your bitterness cloud your child's future. Two, co-parenting is key. 
If you're struggling to co-parent, look for mediation or counseling. There are resources available to help parents navigate difficult situations and put their children's needs first. Three, encourage positive relationships. Even if you have a personal grievance, Encourage your child to have a positive relationship with their father. Remind them that they are loved by both parents, even if the relationship between you and your ex is complicated. Don't weaponize the system. Using courts to limit access or create unnecessary conflict doesn't benefit anyone, especially your child. Work with the system, not against it, to ensure that your child's relationship with both parents is protected and nurtured. Fatherlessness is a serious issue with wide-ranging consequences for children and society as a whole. But we can't fix this problem if we're using the system to perpetuate harm. To all the mothers out there, your child needs both parents. No matter how difficult it might be, your child's future depends on it. This has been a sobering look at the impact of fatherlessness, but it's also a call to action. Let's put our children first and stop using the system to create more damage. We have the power to change this. Thank you for listening in today's episode, and please share the message, and let's work together to ensure that no child has to grow up without both of their parents in their lives. Thank you.